Hi, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Today's video is a nice health of flow practice that will get our legs and our hips moving and working. So when you're ready, pop something comfortable to move in on and join me on the mat. We're gonna start today's practice in a sitting position. So if cross-legged feels good, cross-legged. If you prefer to stretch the legs away or kneel, feel free. So I'll just spend a moment drawing the awareness in. So let the eyes gently close or lower the gaze. And just take a moment noticing how you feel within yourself. No judgment no expectation, just awareness of how you feel in this moment. Let the awareness come to settle on the breath and start to deepen the inhale and lengthen the exhale. Notice the center rising and falling with each breath. Great. And then your next inhale, we're gonna take the arms out and up, reaching up towards the ceiling. Exhale, hands down through prayer in front of the heart. Inhale, arms out and up. Exhale, hands down through prayer. This time we'll inhale, arms out and up. We'll exhale, pop the right hand down to the side. And we'll inhale, pivot the chest up towards the ceiling, open out through that left arm. Then exhale, hand coming down towards the mat, turn the body down towards the right leg. So inhale, lift and open. Exhale, pivot down. Fab. Inhale, lift and open. Exhale, turning down. We'll just do one more on this side. Lovely. And then we'll come back through center, pop the left hand down, right arm up and over. So again, we're gonna inhale, lift and open. Exhale, turning down towards that left leg, bringing the right hand down. So inhale, lift and open. Exhale, turning down. And then we'll inhale, come back up to center. We're gonna interlace the fingers, chin to chest, hands resting on the back of the head. Let the elbows hang, let the back round. Then our inhale, we're gonna lift the chin, lift the chest, open out through the elbows. Our exhale, chin to chest, rounding. Our inhale, lift and open. So exhale, round. Inhale, lift and open. Great, we'll do one more. Wonderful. Then release the hands. We're gonna take hold of our right foot and knee and just ease the leg from side to side. If you prefer, you can always bring the foot and the knee up towards the crook of the elbow. And then we'll swap sides, so release that foot. Take hold of the left foot, either holding on with the hands or bringing them up to the crook of the elbow. And again, easing from side to side.
Wonderful. And we'll release that leg, spin the feet round, and come to tabletop position, ready for cat-cow. So wrists underneath shoulders, knees under hips. We're inhaling to look up, send the heart forward. Exhale, round the back, belly button towards the spine. Inhaling, looking up. Exhale, rounding. Lovely. And we're gonna come to a nice neutral spine. We're gonna take our left foot up into the air, so knee bent, foot flexed. And we're just gonna draw a circle with that knee. So taking the knee out to the side, round, down towards the mat, and then back up to that start position. So out, round, and down. And as best as you can, try and keep the rest of the body relatively still. So as we circle this leg, Try and keep the shoulders relatively still, keep the center nice and still. We're gonna take those circles in the opposite direction. Fantastic. And then pop that knee back down onto the mat and we'll go on the other side. So right foot going up towards the ceiling. Flex that foot. We're taking the leg out to the side, round and down. Great, we'll reverse direction. Lovely. And then pop that knee down. Great, we're gonna take the hands a little ahead, tuck the toes, send the hips up and back, down dog. Then down dog, we're just gonna bend alternate knees, dropping the knees in towards the center line, finding a little bit of movement in the hips. And then back to center. We're gonna lift the gaze towards the top of the mat. Step or walk the feet forward, Uttanasana, a standing forward fold. From here, our right hand is gonna go down either between the feet or resting on the right leg. Nice bend into the right knee and we'll reach up with the left hand, looking towards the left hand. Lower the left hand down, bend into the left knee, reach up right. Great, lower the right hand down. Nice bend in both knees, we'll roll up through the spine, coming all the way up to standing. Give the shoulders a nice roll back at the top. Fantastic. I'm going to turn to face this end of the mat. So we want to stand towards the top of the mat. We're going to start in eagle. So our weight's going into the left foot. We're going to cross the right leg over the left leg. So your first option with eagle is to keep those right toes down, stay as you are. Your next option is to bend into the left knee and cross that right leg over, maybe hooking the foot behind. Left elbow's coming on top, either wrap the arms around or back the hands together or palms together. So the more you bend into that supporting leg, the easier it is to balance an eagle. Keeping the breathing nice and steady. We're gonna uncross the arms, uncross the legs, keep that right foot lifted as you float it out behind, lifting that hip, opening out through the arms, coming into a floating Ardha Chandrasana. 
Great, bend into the left leg, lower the back toes down, back heel down, warrior two. So wriggle as much as you need to, don't feel stuck wherever you landed. We're gonna go into reverse warrior, lower the right hand to the right leg, left arm up and over, keep bending into that left knee. We'll come back through warrior two, into extended side angle. So left elbow to the left knee, right arm up and over. Great, back through warrior two. We'll straighten through the left leg. We're gonna go into reverse triangle. So lowering the right hand to the right leg, left arm up and over. Find that length all through the side of the body. Coming back through center into triangle. So palms facing forward. We extend the rib cage towards the front of the mat and then bring the left hand down on the inside of that left leg. You can always have a bit of a bend in that left knee. And even if it is straight, at least have a micro bend so you're not locking that joint out. Great, we're gonna inhale, coming up to center. Turn the toes, so the toes are slightly turned out, ready for goddess. We'll bend into the knees, bend into the elbows. Thumb and finger can come together in chin mudra. Fantastic. If you feel steady here, maybe seeing if you can lift the heels coming up onto the toes. Fab, then lower the heels. We're gonna bend into the right knee. Straight and through the left, coming into Skandasana. So you can keep this up high and you can have the hands down, or you can come down low and lift the hands. Fab. So we're gonna turn over our right shoulder, turning towards that right knee, coming into a lunge. So left knee down, lengthening the body over that right leg. Optional extra of a bit of a quad stretch here. So keeping your left hand down on the inside of the right foot, we'll bend the left knee, bringing the heel towards the bum. You can stay as you are, or you could reach back with the right hand, find that left foot, drawing the heel towards the body. But this can be quite an intense quad stretch, so if you get cramp, just stay with that foot down instead. Great. We'll release that foot back down. We're gonna bring the hands down on the inside of the right foot and walk the right foot out a little bit wider, coming into lizard. So for lizard, you could stay up on the palms or if you like, coming down towards the elbows. If you're down on the elbows, coming back up onto the palms, right toes slightly turned out. We're gonna tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, and step the back foot to the outside of the left hand. So left hand, left foot to the outside of the left hand, right foot to the outside of the right hand. Malasana, yogi squat. Think about the tailbone heading down towards the mat, lengthen through the spine. Great. And then hands down, straight and through the legs. I'm gonna turn the toes in slightly. Now bear with me on this one, this is an odd transition. We're gonna turn towards our right, pivoting on the feet. So you'll turn all the way around until the legs are crossed. And then we're gonna sit ourselves down, coming into cow's head pose. Fab. So, don't worry if that hasn't happened in the way you expected it to. Just find your way to cow's head pose with the right leg on top, left leg on the bottom. And we're gonna bring our left hand behind the back, right hand going round to meet it. Trying to sit up nice and tall. Remember with cow's head pose, if there's any discomfort in the knees, you could always stretch the bottom leg away, so the left leg in this instance, and just have the right leg crossed over the left leg. Great, then we'll release the hands. 
taking a little fold over those legs. And then bringing the weight forwards if you can. Stepping the left leg back a little, uncross the right or just uncross the legs however is best for you. We're going to tuck the toes, send the hips up and back, down dog. Lift the gaze towards the top of the mat, step or walk the feet forward, Uttanasana. Standing forward fold. Nice bend in the knees, take the arms out and up, coming all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands down to prayer in front of the heart. Great, take a moment, let the breath settle, let the body settle. Great, then we're going to go on to the other side. So taking the weight into the right foot, cross the left leg over. Again, you could keep the toes down or you could bend into the knee, tucking that left foot round, eagle. Right arm on top, either wrap the arms around like you're giving yourself a hug or backs their hands together or palms together. Now uncross the arms, uncross the leg, float that foot back, open out through the arms, lift the hip, floating Ardha Chandrasana. Great, bend into that right knee, lower the left foot down, warrior two. We're going into reverse warrior, lower the right hand to the right leg, left arm up and over. Back through warrior two, into extended side angle. Let right elbow to the right knee, left arm up and over. Great. Inhale back through warrior two. Lengthen through that right leg. Lower the left hand to the left leg, right arm up and over. Reverse triangle. Back up to center, extend the rib cage towards the top of the mat. Bring the right hand down on the inside of the right leg. Left arm up. Maybe looking up towards that top hand. Maybe you look straight ahead, or maybe you look down. In, coming up to center. Turn the toes for goddess. So toes slightly turned out, bend into the knees, bend into the elbows. Hands maybe in chin mudra, thumb and index finger together. If you feel steady, see if you can lift the heels coming up onto the toes. Great stuff, lower the heels. So we're bending into that left knee, straightening through the right leg. Skandasana or side lunge. Turning over the left shoulder, turning towards that left leg, coming into a lunge with the left leg forward. Fantastic. Remember, you can stay in your lunge as you are, or you could bend that right knee, bringing the heel towards the body. Maybe you reach back with the left hand, take hold of the foot, drawing the heel towards the body. Find that stretch through the front of the leg. We'll release that foot. Hands coming down on the inside of the left foot. Walking that left foot out a little, coming into lizard. So you could stay on the palms or you could bring the elbows down onto the mat. With lizard, often the outside elbow likes to come down a little bit easier than the inside elbow. So don't worry if that's the case. Just adapt as you need to. Great stuff, we're gonna come back up onto the palms. So left toes turned out, bend, tuck the right toes, lift the right knee, step the right foot to the outside of the right hand, 
Bend into both knees. Malasana, yogi squat. We'll straighten through the legs, turn the toes slightly in. We're turning over the left shoulder, spinning round on the feet all the way around to face the front of the mat and sitting ourselves down in the cow's head. Great, so again, you could have the legs stacked on the top of each other if that bottom knee is uncomfortable. Stretch the bottom leg away. Great, right hand going behind the back. Left hand going round to meet it. Sitting up nice and tall. the hands. A little fold over the legs. Then if it feels okay, hands forward, bring the weight forward. Bring the right knee back slightly, uncross the left. If it's better, just spin the feet round, uncross however's best, and then tuck the toes, downward facing dog. the gaze towards the top of the mat. Step or walk the feet forward, Uttanasana. Nice bend in the knees, take the arms out and up, coming all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands down to prayer in front of the heart. Great, let the breath settle, let the body settle. bend into the knees coming all the way down onto the mat so pop the knees down if you need to or sit yourself down without using the hands we'll keep that roll going all the way down to lying on your back draw the feet in happy baby maybe giving the spine a bit of a rock We're going to keep holding on round um, the <laughs> words. We're going to keep holding on to the right foot, and we're going to release the left leg. Either pop the left foot down or lengthen the left leg away, coming into a half happy baby. To really try and draw the right knee down towards the armpit. Release the right foot, rest the foot on top of the left thigh. Left hand to the outside of that right knee, draw the knee across the body, twisting through the spine. Right arm could always go out at shoulder height and maybe looking over that right shoulder. through center. Draw both knees in again, happy baby. Holding onto feet or ankles, soles of the feet towards the ceiling. Knees down towards the armpits. And then keeping hold of the left foot, pop the right foot down onto the mat 
or lengthen that right leg away. And then we'll release that foot. Rest the foot on top of the right thigh. Right hand to the outside of the knee. Draw the knee across the body, twisting through the spine. Left arm maybe out at shoulder height. Maybe looking over that left shoulder. And then draw that knee back to center. Give both knees a hug in, circling the knees, hands on the kneecaps, maybe together or out in a swimming motion. Lovely. And then lengthen the legs away along the mat and come to lie in Shavasana. If it feels better to have the knees bent, feet on the mat, just do adjust that lying position to however suits your body right now. Let the eyes gently close and just drawing the awareness in. See if you can recall how you felt at the beginning of the practice and be aware of any changes. No judgment, no expectation, just awareness. And let that awareness come to settle on the breath. Follow the flow of breath in and out of the body. Deepening the inhale and lengthening the exhale. Let the breathing settle into that slow, steady rhythm. Noticing your center rising and falling with each breath. And if the mind starts to wander or you get distracted, as will naturally happen, just acknowledge it and then bring the awareness back to the breath.
So if you have time, maybe staying in meditation for a while. But if this is all you have time for today, thank you for joining me. Please do leave me a comment. Let me know how you got on. I really appreciate it. And of course, subscribe to my channel so you'll be alerted whenever there's new videos. Om Shanti.